The old blind dog in Milton is another one of my family favorites. With a name like Noonan, I have a thing for Irish pubs. And the old blind dog is not like any Irish pub I've been to outside of Ireland. We did not want to have a sports bar that served green beer. Old Blind Dog General Manager Jeff Kokoska is one of the most respected restaurateurs in Atlanta. He is well known for making restaurants very successful. Having grown up working in his mother's diner in Florida, this guy knows how to run a restaurant. And the Old Blind Dog shows that Jeff and his incredible team are at the top of their games. This place has boomed since the day it opened in the Crabapple section of Milton in North Fulton County. After we opened, someone came to us with, with some demographic information and they put it down in front of us and we looked at it and we realized that the highest concentration of Scotch-Irish is within three square miles of this building. We didn't know that prior, so I think we lucked out. Yeah, again, I mean, this is a fantastic area. It's only going to grow. The Old Blind Dog is a celebration of the seven Celtic nations. The decor is incredible. From the Braveheart statue to the authentic Celtic antiques everywhere, no expense was spared, and it shows. Run, ready, set, run. The old blind dog has built its brand with warp speed by getting very involved in the community, sponsoring all kinds of community events, including this 5K night run. About 500 people showed up this night. Old blind dog serves 800 on a busy night. 75 kegs of beer on St. Patrick's Day. This is a very busy restaurant because the food and drinks are consistently excellent. Everything on the menu is scratch. The only thing we don't make is our cheesecake because we find a great little lady that lives about five miles away and that's what she does for a living is to make cheesecakes for people. Jeff is all about detail. He and the ownership team, among them some retired UPS executives, have done whatever it takes to make the old blind dog experience very special. For example, they spent tens of thousands of dollars on a special refrigeration unit just for the Guinness. We spent the extra money to put a cooler only for the Guinness to be drawn by different lines because it's important that when you come in here and get a Guinness drawn for you, it's drawn the right way, in the right glassware, proper temperature, so it tastes the way it's supposed to taste. This is a study in how to run a restaurant where quality always comes first. The shepherd's pie is made with lamb, like it should be. The fish and chips are made of beautiful cod. The burgers are hand ground. The corned beef is steamed fresh, right here. No corners are cut. And the attention to detail is even evident in the way the old blind dog was designed. So when we set this up, the snugs kind of break up the restaurant into two separate parts. So you can be in a snug and not even see the bar, but you could be in the bar area. Uh, you could be in a snug in the dining room and not even hear the bar. These guys get it. The chilly night of the run could have overwhelmed many restaurants. Not the old blind dog. As the runners returned, hundreds of them, they were greeted with a cold beer, great music, and a real party at a packed bar. The old blind dog's wait staff is the best you will find. They handle this huge crowd like pros. The live music, the Sunday brunch, the Guinness at the right temperature, and the top quality food have won rave reviews. But what is often talked about is the name of this place. How did they come up with the old blind dog? Jeff and the ownership team were kicking around lots of names when one of them looked down at his old blind bulldog rescue. One night, right before he was about to send this email out, he just patted her on the head and said, all right, you old blind dog, it's time to go to bed. And right before he hit send, he's like, I wonder. So put that on there, old blind dog, sent it out to everybody, and within, I think, two, three days, 90% of the people came back with old blind dog as the name of the pub. So that's how it was born. You gotta love it. The old blind dog in Milton, Georgia, one of the best Irish pubs on this side of the pond. And the good news is these guys are looking to expand. It seems that blind dog has pretty good vision, and you'll be lucky if he comes to your town. We can use lots more old blind dogs.